Morning tubers, it's Monday, September 7th, happy Labor Day, and we're at 9.52 time-wise, and that's the temp in Vegas. So, let's go back to the weather channel, and we'll click on that. Yeah, we got red flag warnings, so it's going to be hot, so no painting today. But let's go to the hourly and we'll see it's as you can see don't mind the shaky cam but we're going to be 112 so nighttime Tuesday 6 a.m. is 85 degrees 8 7 a.m. is 83 degrees looking great but one problem is Look at the wind. It's 17 miles an hour at 6 a.m., 24 miles an hour at 7 a.m. Well, we won't be painting on Tuesday, so let's see if we can find Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, man, look at 60s. You believe that? Damn. 11 miles an hour, 12, 17. Okay, I'm going to have to wait for the, to get the rest, but Wednesday looks a little promising. The wind is out of the north at 12. I can deal with that because the garage door will be mostly closed. It's the 24 miles an hour. Where is it here? Here, if we go back here. Yeah, it's the 13. It's 12, 13, 17. At 6, hold on, wait. It's 6 a.m., 17 miles an hour, 24, 26 at 8 a.m., 30 miles an hour at 9 a.m. Yeah, that's way too windy. So, and if we scroll down to Wednesday, and it's not going to be that bad. So I'm thinking, yeah, and Wednesday, actually, I'm going to, if I use the clear coat, I, that's why I have to sit there and look. I can paint any time on Wednesday. I don't have to get up early in the morning. So, interesting. Just letting you see what the weather is the next couple of days and why I haven't been painting the spoiler. So, let's get out of there. And let's go out here. And there's the spoiler all masked up, ready to go. And, uh, yeah. But i also been working on this. This is where the two holes are in to get the uh, access for uh, the nuts on the back. I also got it laid out on that side, so. So we're going to load this up and show you guys where we're at. And I think that's what we'll do right now is we're going to finish working out on this and we'll end up drilling those out and uh, maybe getting those mounted. So uh, the ramjet and emblems, that is. And like I said, as I have see if we could sit there and do this yeah you can see I have that side laid out too so and it's gonna I think it's gonna look okay so so this is where I'm at and when I get more I'll uh, turn this back on later thought I was done huh well, I'm going to show you I relocated them different this vertical line and this vertical line, okay, hang on, bear with me, uh, represent, need to get the flashlight, those two holes. So the one vertical line represents the edge of this hole and the one vertical line represents the edge of this hole. 
Now, if need be, I can cut this out with the Dremel because I got to still paint the underside of the hood, repaint the underside of the hood, and I can cut this out with a Dremel to make it whatever size I need to get a hold of the uh, the nuts to tighten them up. So let's put the light back and show you what we did. All right. From the crown of the hood right there to that top line, you can see is 11 inches. I had to do something to sit there and give me some type of straight, straight line that was perpendicular to that one. So I can mark off of this one. So then we went from there down one inch, and that's the bottom where the letters are going to sit on on that line and that roughly puts us almost dead center of that gap and you got to remember this starts really big here and goes down narrow there so but that's where I'm thinking so I'll go ahead and load this up right now matter of fact it's 10:30 in the morning I'm going to stop right here because that's the spot I'm picking for this side and it's roughly the same spot I'm picking for the, the passenger side because you can see I got the same marks tied up on that and that is see 11 inches from the tip and it's just the way it lies on the hood and that's the way I did it on both sides so once I get the hose dr holes drilled, then the hood's going to get, the outside is going to get resanded uh, re and rebuffed because uh, this is, <clears throat> we stopped and we needed to finish it up. So I think the third glazing compound needs to go on here and I think we need to hit it with some 2000 grit again, real lightly. So, but we'll drill the holes. So this is where inside of here is where that bracket's gonna or that emblem's gonna go and as you can see right there it's almost identical as it's close as I can get it and my tape measure <clears throat> so yeah I like using this a lot better because it follows the curves and the radius is on the hood really well and you can get a good good measurement so yeah I always have one of these in tape measure a true tape measure in, in your garage my opinion so we're gonna contemplate the universe give it some time and then we're gonna come out and take a look at it and see and if I like it then we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes get these drilled and then we'll put this side done and see and if it get the emblems in and if it looks good, everything else, then we'll move on to the passenger side. So I'm going to load this up. So expect to be loaded by about 11 a.m. Vegas time later. <laughs>